What's up everyone, Tokyo Brandon here, and we're back with another three game preview for Japanese baseball. This three game preview is between the Yakult Swallows and the Hanshin Tigers. This is taking place Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday of this week at Jingu Kyujo, the home of the Yakult Swallows. So before I get on with the preview, I want to let you know that Wager Talk right now is doing a special for me. All of my Asian baseball plays right now are $9 each. So I'm doing KBO, Korean baseball, and Japanese baseball, MPB. Right now I'm winning 63% of my Korean baseball. I'm winning 58% of my Japanese baseball. So uh, each day I release well, three or four plays uh, a day in Asian baseball and I'm doing them for $9 each. Enough about what I'm doing, let's get on with the preview. The Yakult Swallows and the Hunching Tigers are two of the most potent lineups in the game and when I break down a series I like to break down three components of the series which is lineup, bullpen, and starting rotation. So let's start with the starting rotation for both of these teams. Uh, the Hunching Tigers have a significant advantage in starting rotation. They have uh, several guys who could be aces on any team, including Aoyagi, uh, Akiyama, uh, they have Joe Gunkel. They have quite a few starters who can hold things down quite well. I do like the rotation for the Hanshing Tigers. On the other hand, the Yakult Swallows don't really have any go-to guy in their starting rotation. Their ace is Ogawa. He's one of the most inconsistent pitchers in baseball. He can pitch a complete game shutout and then give up six runs the next game. So he's not very reliable. I don't see anyone in their starting rotation who's actually very reliable. Uh, so rotation advantage goes to the Hanshin Tigers. Um, let's look at the lineups. Uh, both lineups are packed with serious power. Let's start with the Hanshin Tigers. Uh, from one through eight, zero weaknesses. As a matter of fact, they got four guys who can put it over the fence at any time. Uh, that would be Marte, they've got Sands, they've got two rookies in Sato and Nakano who both can put it over the, over the fence at any moment. Now Colt Swallows, their lineup's even better if you can believe that. They've got two of uh, the home run uh, champs on their lineup. They've got Yamada and they've got Murakami. Uh, they also have Norichika Aoki who used to play for the Rangers who gets on base. Not really a power hitter. Uh, they've got Shiomi as probably the best leadoff guy in Japan. So Yakult can put uh, runs on the board uh, in an instant. As a matter of fact, if you look at the Team Woba, uh, I have Yakult ranked number one in all of Japan, and I have their lineup as far as runs per game ranked at number two, where I have the Tigers ranked number five in both categories out of 12 teams. So both of these teams are potent, both of the lineups are dangerous, uh, and uh, they are no weaknesses from number one to number eight. Let's look at the bullpens. Both bullpens are bad. Uh, there's no real way to sugarcoat it. I have Hanshing's bullpen ranked number 10 out of 12, and I have Yakult's bullpen ranked number 7 out of 12. So expect a lot of runs between the 5th and 8th innings in these games. So I did an average pitcher simulation uh, between these two teams, and my average game score came to a 9.5 runs per game and I have both team totals well over four, especially the Yakult team totals I have at 4.9. So depending on who's starting the game, when this series comes around, we've got two powerful lineups, uh, one decent rotation and one bad rotation, and then we've got two bad bullpens. So I'm gonna be looking to bet a lot of overs in this series. The lines tend to be exaggerated when Aoyagi or Akiyama take the mound for Hanshing. So if we see any sevens, if we see any seven and a halves, these are bet over situations. Uh, as far as team totals are concerned, which I have had more success with team totals than game totals lately. Uh, if I see any team totals that are three and a half, 
uh, especially two and a half. Uh, but a three and a half team total, I will probably jump on that as well. So I'm going to be sticking mostly with overs in this three game series. So that's my preview. Again, go to Tokyo Brandon's wagertalk.com page. Uh, you'll see the plays that I'm releasing, and they're all $9. That's all for the preview, guys. Happy betting, and I'll be back with more. Salute.